It's really humid out here. But again, we were pretty far in the past. Not too surprising. Let's check out these biochips. Okay, let's see what this one is. Pegasus biochip. Link to the Pegasus. Allows me to go back into the presence and monitors the status of a rip and agents temporal and locational difference. And the mapping bioship. Pressurized environments? This is in no way a pressurized environment. Depressurized environments to go and track display agents' movements. Mapping is temporarily suspended when any other biochip is activated. Seriously, that's not a Oh, is that pterodactyl? Cool. Warning, you are currently 124 meters above the rocky shoreline below. Please exercise appropriate caution and dexterity. Okay then, yeah, I don't want to fall. Lord knows what's down there. All right. Excellent. That must be where the historical log is. Ah, now I get why this thing. Scanner for ID verification. Well, now I know why this thing is very secure. It's probably going to get melted by lava. Oh man, looks like somebody must have something must have shorted out. Probably the humidity. Guess I better go and look for a circuit breaker. Hmm. Where would they put a circuit breaker so that wouldn't be found by some stupid beast and it wouldn't be... Not there! Stupid. Okay, let's figure out. Where would they put a circuit breaker? It wouldn't be damaged. Maybe in here. Nah, it's just a ball. Oh, let's go, I guess. See what's over here. Aha! Here we go! Alright then. Oh, there's... I think I can see dinosaur eggs over there. Better not mess with them. That one angry mommy dinosaur eating my <laughs> face off. Yeah. Alright, let's roll. Is that my new catchphrase or something? Ooh, Wait, what was that? Of course that's the sound. Warning. You are currently 124 meters above the rocky shoreline below. Please exercise appropriate caution and dexterity. Yep, we're attracted. Probably shouldn't move. Oh. Well, camera's active. I should get out of here as quickly as possible. Never really examined this thing. Key allows an agent to open the storage vault. And here's the log. Agent 5, you have accomplished your mission and recovered the Journeyman Historical Log. You must now return quickly to the Temporal Security Annex and review the disk. Hmm. I wonder what the info on this thing is. Log contains historical and news reports of Chronicle all of recorded history. And it's on a CD-ROM. It's recorded on CD-ROM. Well, this TSA can spring for anything more high quality, like an SD biochip con? I guess not. Oh well. Well, let's go back home, I guess.
Man, it's good to be back. No. Fine. What are you doing joyriding in the Pegasus? Joyriding? What? Your research reconnaissance mission was not scheduled until... Research reconnaissance? Wait a minute, what's that uniform you're wearing? Um... What's that look on your face? Confusion. You have a lot of questions to answer, soldier. Once you have finished logging your report in the command center, I want to see you in my office immediately! Oh boy. This does not bode well. Well, you see, I, uh, the history got changed and I have to, uh, go and, uh, fix it. So I'm going to have to unwrite you in the entire universe, and, um, are you okay with that? Hmm, maybe that's too subtle. Whatever, I'll think of the explanation after I see what happened in history. Let's roll. Hmm. Yep. All right, time to see what happens. Let's see what is here. 5, 15, 21, 12, 1400 hours. Today, amid negotiations to work out the final details of the Worldwide Unification Treaty, a nuclear missile was launched by the United States toward the country of Gorbistan. The missile, however, self-destructed before actually touching down. Before the scare, the leaders of this country appeared to be ready to accept the terms of the peace plan. Although the how the missile could have been launched, other foreign governments have already said that they cannot possibly sign a treaty with a country that would use such scare tactics. Thus, the worldwide unification treaty which has come so close to realization now has little or no chance for ratification. Five, fifteen, twenty-one, twelve, fourteen hundred hours. Today, amid negotiations to work out the final details of the Worldwide Unification Treaty, a nuclear missile was launched by the United States toward the country of Gorbistan. The missile, however, self-destructed before actually touching down. Before the scare, the leaders of this country appear to be ready to accept the terms of the peace plan. Although the U.S. officials have repeatedly stated that they don't understand how the missile could have been launched, other foreign governments have already said that they cannot possibly sign a treaty with a country that would use such scare tactics. Thus, the worldwide unification treaty which has come so close to realization now has little or no chance for ratification. That's bad. Better go and check out the unaltered version. Just in case. May 15, 2112. The government of Gorbistan appears ready to agree to the terms of the Worldwide Unification Treaty being set forth by the United Nations. However, at least one terrorist faction disagrees with the terms of the plan and has expressed this disagreement by taking hostages. That's bad. Nevertheless, it appears that the Worldwide Unification Treaty will be signed by Gorbistan and all other nations of the world. Happy ending. Let's see what happened at this Mars colony. 8-3-21-85. Oh, 800 hours. Morimoto Corporation's Mars Colony Project 
suddenly went offline last night, just moments after the pilot of a cargo shuttle spotted an unidentified spacecraft in the area. While it is still unclear what has happened, many believe that the colony may have been destroyed by a malevolent alien race. Repeated efforts to contact the colony have met with no success, but before the comm link to the colony was terminated, the sighting of the alien spacecraft, its rapid departure, and a subsequent unexplained explosion were recorded by long-range sensors on Phobos and verified by Earth authorities. That is also very bad. August 3rd, 2185. Early today, the pilot of a cargo shuttle approaching the Morimoto Mars colony spotted an unidentified spacecraft in orbit over the colony. The sighting was verified by landing base scanners and immediately reported to Earth. Soon after, the ship sped off towards the outer reaches of the solar system. This first governmentally verified encounter with an alien race has already prompted the leaders of the world to start emergency closed-door meetings to discuss the implications of this monumental event. Hmm. And here is... Today, 123 years after the first official UFO encounter, an alien spacecraft entered into Earth's orbit. After several hours of silence and mounting tension, the aliens transmitted the following message over all communication frequencies. We will return when you are ready. While no one is quite sure what this message means, many leaders have voiced concern about interacting with an obviously powerful and potentially dangerous alien race. Okay. More than a century after the first confirmed sighting of a UFO, aliens have finally made contact with Earth. Early this morning, a huge triangular-shaped vehicle entered into Earth's orbit. After three hours, the spacecraft came through the atmosphere and hovered over Caldoria. Moments later, the following message was transmitted over all communication frequencies. We are the Cerulians. Please do not be alarmed. We have come because we feel that you are ready. You have reached a point where you are no longer dangerous to yourselves or others. This is why we have chosen to invite you to join us, the symbiotry of peaceful beings. We are an alliance of sentient beings whose objective is to benefit from the sharing of knowledge and culture. We know that it will take some time to fully comprehend the significance of this encounter, so we will give you the opportunity to deliberate our proposal. On the same day, ten years from now, a swollen delegate will visit you to extend a formal invitation to join the Symbiotry. Until then, we look forward to meeting you in person. And as suddenly as they had appeared, the Sirolans departed, leaving Earth to ponder the implications of their existence and their incredible proposal. Intriguing. What's this? 1 17 23 10 1800 hours. Dr. Enrique Castillo, a well known biologist and advocate for establishing alien relations, was murdered earlier today. During his speech at the Symposium on Alien Contact in New Sydney, Australia, Castillo was speaking on stage at the World Science Center when the single shot from an unknown assailant was fired. He was later pronounced dead on arrival at the Darling Harbor Medical Complex. The murderer is still at large. Dr. Castillo was the most outspoken at the debates and firmly believed that contact with alien races would be beneficial to humanity. Although his views were not mainstream, Dr. Castillo's contributions to the pro-alien movement will be greatly missed. <sighs> Tragic. And what's this? January 17, 2310. The Symposium on Alien Contact began today at the World Science Center in New Sydney, Australia. The debate centered around whether humans are ready for interaction with alien races. One speaker, Dr. Enrique Castillo, 
had a particularly moving speech. Dr. Castillo embarrassed the naysayers by systematically shooting down their arguments and thrilled the attending scientific community with visions of medical and technological advances which could be gained by such interaction. Although there were strong keynote speeches on both sides of the argument, most of those in attendance appeared to be in favor of alien contact. Hey. Okay. After I was alerted that you had the historical log, I began monitoring your actions. I just downloaded the information regarding the temporal distortions. I still can't believe it has really happened. Believe it. I'm reviewing all of the information about this matter, but it's obvious I can't risk sending you back to change things now. Wait, what? My life and the only world I have ever known is at stake. And, oh. and no one, no matter what the regulations say, is going to change it, for better or worse. As of this moment, consider yourself a hostile enemy of the state. Frack. I'm sending robots one and two to guard the command center door until I can figure out how to dispose of you. I'm sorry, Agent Five, but once I destroy the historical log you brought back from the prehistoric site, the only memories of your world will be in your head. And that's where they're going to stay. Initiating auto-activation of contingency program 13, which states, Any attempt to obstruct a TSA agent while on a mission is a direct violation of TSA Regulation 11. Override code implemented. Attempting to establish link with Command Central Computer Core. I.O. link established. Agent 5, you may now utilize the TSA Central Computer. Awesome. New target acquired. Rerouting robots. Rerouting robots. Hmm. Well, we don't really need these robots, here, do we? Rerouting robots. Mm. Rerouting robots. Take that, Commissioner. Now then. Back to this repair mission of mine. Actually, what? What do you have to say about this whole situation, AI? You are within the underground installation of the Temporal Security Annex. However, various temporal anomalies indicate that this altered TSA may have been adversely affected by these distortions. Recommend extreme caution when interacting with other humans, as they may also be affected. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Anyway... Let's go towards that command. Let's go towards the rare room. And change history back to the way it's supposed to be. Screw what Commissioner says. No, Maverick, I'm saving the world! At least, I think I am. Access authorized for Agent 5G Blackwood. Biosuit detected. Suit already in place. Please keep hands inside turbo lift. Well then, let's proceed onward, shall we? Over. You know what? I'm sure we can figure something Screw out. Screw you! I will give you any AI? According to TSA Regulation 11, all communication and data links to the outside must be severed to prevent possible obstructions from hindering the completion of the mission. Not now right. proceeding with the I.O. isolation procedures. Time 
ascending preparations complete. You may now choose your temporal destination. Hmm, we got three places to choose from. We have the NORAD installation, the Mars colony, or the Science Center. Hmm, tough choice. You know, I think I'm gonna go to the Science Center first. This odd feeling. You are about to travel to the World Science Center in New Sydney, Australia, in the year 2310. In the corrupted history, an influential scientist, Dr. Enrique Castillo, is assassinated during his speech at the Symposium on Alien Contact. Without his impassioned arguments for the benefits of sharing culture with other races, the sentiment of the scientific community toward alien contacts swings to an isolationist attitude drastically altering history. Let's get on with it. Neutrino acceleration matrix. Whoa. 